Though this morning it is with the words of the entrance antiphon. Blessed, Blessed indeed is he who ponders the law of the, law of the Lord day and night. And night. He, will he will yield, yield his, his fruit, fruit in due season. season. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. With open hearts we come this day, trusting in the one who calls us each by name. As we begin our prayer, as one family gathered at table together, we come recognizing the ways in which we desire the Lord's healing grace in body, in mind, in spirit, trusting in the one who can make all things happen, but the one who desires that we believe and trust. Lord Jesus, you came to call all peoples from all times and places into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to us in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory, bringing salvation for all who believe in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who gave the priest, St. Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may ever more fruitfully be nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let us be attentive to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place for taking hold of the ends of the earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface? The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and dyed as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you entered into the sources of the sea or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breath of the earth? Tell me if you know all. Which is the way to the dwelling place of light and where is the abode of darkness? that you may take them to their boundaries and set them on their homeward paths. You know, because you were born before them and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account. What can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Hallelujah, 
Today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, Will you be exalted to heaven? Will you go down to the netherworld? Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand, you understand my thoughts from afar. The words of Psalm 139, which we just prayed this morning, just a few moments ago. Maybe it's those words that best capture what it is the readings are about for today. We continue on our journey with Job and finding ourselves with him in a situation, standing in the presence and the awe of God. And for Job, just caught up in all of his sadness, all of the struggle and the turmoil in his life, just so much, and wanting to just end it all and to leave it all behind. I guess in some ways, it's not that difficult to imagine this situation. Maybe for some of us, closer to home than others. And for others, most definitely, on the west coast of Florida, Ukraine, in many places around the world that we view on the global scene But really, it's hard for us to even begin to imagine personally just what it is all these other people are experiencing and maybe to tap into something of what Job finds himself dealing with. But here we are, and in the conversation with God, and God not beating him over the head and saying, I'm the Almighty One and you're not, challenging him, probing his heart and his thoughts. And there in the exchange, have you been able to do these things, to go to these places, into the very depths and the mystery of the earth and of the heavens? I know them all, and I know you. And in the end, Job, who simply finds himself humbled by it all, and again, not brought low in some pathetic way, but realizing that God is the one who's in control. And for all the good that we do, and we do, it's still God who's in control. And so much of what around us is a mystery and a wonder. Does that disappoint us and discourage us? Or does it leave us in awe and wonder? And for Job himself humbled, and again, even that word we struggle with, not brought low, but opened to the very presence 
and the wonder of God. Something more is happening here and something more would unfold for Job as well. But he needed to trust and he was and he needed to believe and he did. And the story continues and we'll hear that in the days ahead but something of that same reality would be presented to the disciples that Jesus would find gathering around him struggling to see, to hear, to trust, and to believe. Could they be changed? Could they be moved? And he would challenge them with the words that we hear today. And then who would ever listen, well, whoever listens to you is listening to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. To make those connections, to strike to the heart and to hit home, if you will, again, not to bring down low, but to lift up and to call us to change of heart and of mind. The saint who we remember today, Jerome, in many ways from all the way back to the early fifth century, We remember his great accomplishments. Jerome is celebrated as one of the four great doctors of the Latin church. He has a window here in this church. The four great Latin doctors have windows up here in the sanctuary. And Jerome is up there with a bright red Jerusalem cross with a spike at the end, like it's stuck into the ground and laying claim to something, or stuck in our hearts and laying claim to something. But nonetheless, the window is there. And Jerome, and what it is we heard at the beginning of Mass today, from what's today Croatia, and somebody who is well-educated and in a good spot in society, and he knew it, he felt it, he lived it, but a change that was going on in him. And as an adult, he was baptized. And not that long after, ordained a priest as well, and the journey that would carry him to what it is and how it is we remember him. Somebody whose desire to know the scriptures would change his heart and his mind. And we celebrate him as the one who, as a great linguist and scripture scholar, he translated in all their original languages the books of the Bible into Latin. An incredible and long-term accomplishment. And commentaries that we have that, as we heard before, are used to this very day, to this very day, as a source for preaching and inspiration and guidance. Many wonderful things that he had accomplished and the Lord had blessed him in many ways, but there's a curiosity about Jerome and it's worth noting with the readings today. All the way back from the fifth century, people also remembered something about his personality. Jerome could very quickly rub you the wrong way. He was a bit brash and he recognized his blessing and his skills And he had this unique way of pointing out to people what their problems were and how it was they could improve their lives spiritually and morally. You can be better than you are. And here's how you can do it. And he was good at telling them that. At one point it's recounted that uh, the men and women of Rome who he had addressed in this way over and over again drove him out of the city And that's what eventually pushed him to the Middle East and where it was he would spend a good portion of his life translating the scriptures. But there in the caves and in the silence, something that unfolded in the scriptures. And he realized, and I suspect for him, that even from the gospel passages about uh, the plank in your eye, to remove the splinter in your brother or sister's eye, that those passages and many others were the ones that stuck, that hit home, that moved and changed his heart. 
when he resurrected, if you will, from the caves of Bethlehem after a long term in prayer and reflection in that work of translating the scriptures, he was a very different person. Like with Job, one who would simply stand in awe and wonder of God's incredible love and power. Not something meant to push us down and hold us down, but to lift us up and call us to glory. No, when he left that holy place, he was a very different person. And it's that same change that the Lord invites in each of us. Maybe that bright red Jerusalem cross with a spike at the end is a powerful symbol of God's claim on you and me and simply wanting us to be true to who it is we are as a people loved and saved. We stand together in faith and trust as we bring our prayer this day for ourselves and for one another. For our church and our mission to live as faithful disciples, may the Lord strengthen us in this holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may the Lord impart upon them a spirit of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from racism or prejudice, may the Lord bring healing to their pain and justice to their oppressors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially Lucia Kim, whom we remember in this Mass, and for the consolation of her family and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions in our parish intention book, in thanksgiving for answered prayers, and for the intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear the prayer we bring to you this day. Touch our hearts and our minds that we may never forget your love for each of us and ever be remembered as having placed our faith and trust in you. May that faith be put into action in word and deed in our lives every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen.
Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, we do so without end as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving you thanks, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ending, he took the chalice, again giving you thanks. He then gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, Paul Gregory, our retired Bishop, Jose, the Bishop of our sister diocese of Santa Rosa, and with all who shepherd your church around the world. Remember our sisters, our brothers, who this day seek you in healing, in body, mind, and spirit. Remember to those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, your holy apostles, with the prophets and patriarchs, Jerome, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, o Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Formed by divine teaching, 
and at the Savior's command we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory are yours now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Receive with me the body and the blood of Christ. For those today receiving a spiritual communion, let us pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord God, your words were found, and I consumed them. Your word became the joy and the happiness of my heart.
Let us pray. May these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, in word and in sacrament, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Continue with our Friday morning devotion, the Novena of the Sacred Heart. Uh, just something from St. Jerome this morning. He would say that ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. And something that we do both in our study but in our listening of what takes place every time we gather here at table and each time that you open the sacred texts at home or wherever to read, to learn, to pray. We offer our prayer this day through the intercession of our God who is hearing us as we bring our prayer in this novena. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you have promised that where two or more are gathered in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Look down then with love and compassion upon us here before you to honor your sacred heart and to make it known and loved by all. Come into our midst, gentle Jesus. Fill our hearts with blessings and inflame them with your love. O oh, Jesus, look upon those who kneel before you. Heart of Jesus, hear and grant our prayers. Divine, Divine heart, heart of Jesus, Jesus to you, you we, have we have recourse. In you we find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when overwhelmed with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. We firmly believe you can bestow on us the graces we implore. We are most unworthy of your favors, but you are the God of mercies and will not refuse a contrite and humble heart. Remembering your words, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. Mindful too that from your sacred heart have come words of tenderness and pleading love. Come to me, all you that labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you. We come to you now with childlike confidence to make our pleas in this novena. But if what we ask is not for the glory of God and the saving of souls, answer our prayer in the way you know best. Whatever may be your decision with regard to our requests, we will never cease to adore, love, and serve you. Amen. O Jesus, answer our petitions as we kneel before you. Heart of Jesus, hear and grant our prayers. And let us pray. O Almighty and Eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son and upon the praise and satisfaction he offers you in behalf of sinners, and being appeased, grant pardon to those who seek your mercy. In the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The litany of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, 
Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, home of justice and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, perfection of all virtues. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, worthy, most worthy of all praise. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who call upon you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacrificed for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with reproaches. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of sin. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have Have mercy mercy on on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make make our our hearts hearts like like unto unto thine. thine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go be in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.